Hello, in this video I'll be talking about an essential oil called frankincense, and this is the Boswellia carteri variant. Boswellia carteri is also known as the Latin name. And this essential oil I bought from Eden, uh, Eden's Garden a while ago. And I like this essential oil quite a bit, and I will talk about how it affects your cognition. I will also talk about the scent profile of this essential oil. I'll start with the scent profile. So I'll go ahead and uh, put a drop on my uh, hand and tell you how it smells. And, the, you know, I smell it. And the first time when I uh, used this essential oil, the scent reminded me a bit about uh, soap. You know, it smelled kind of soapy. but And a little, uh, a little bit like tree resin, tree sap. But, you know, I'm not very good at uh, describing, uh, you know, the scent of essential oils. So I've uh, researched a bit and people described it to be like, um, and uh, to have an aroma of aged wood, uh, it, that it was balsamic, that it is uh, subtly, subtly sweet, and indeed it's quite, uh, it's a lot slightly sweet. It is indeed, and that it has hints of citrus, so that it has a, a citrusy kind of smell, and that I think is due to the, uh, you know, some of its uh, chemical compositions. Uh, for example, um, this essential oil. Is composed of 44% alpha pinen. I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Maybe it's alpha pinen. That's probably what it is. And it's um, composed of 11% limonen. And the limonen, I do think, is responsible for the lemony scent. And this has a, um, I, I noticed that this has a um, relaxing effect. I've I did, I've done some research online, and the alpha pinen is actually. Um, that uh, this, you know, the frankincense essential oil is composed of. The alpha pinin uh, improves your uh, cognition and focus by increasing the amount of acetylcholine that is available for, um, you know, neurons to, neurons to use in the brain. Whereas limonin, um, which, you know, this is essential oil is composed of about 11%, limonin has a sedative effect, but in small amounts, it has, um, you know, a, a relaxing effect. So combined with this, uh, this uh, you know, chemical uh, composition in combination has a very, um, you know, subtly different effect than, for example, something that's a straight relaxant or a stimulant. So, you know, when I use this essential oil, I do notice that my focus is improved. I feel uh, more relaxed and at peace. And uh, this is uh, beneficial because when you're studying, you don't want to be too stimulated. And you don't want to be too relaxed. If you're too stimulated, you get like if you, for example, if you uh, drink too many cups of coffee at once while you're trying to study or focus on something, you'll notice that you're scatterbrained. You're too stressed out. And whereas if you're too, um, you know, if, if you're too uh, sedated or relaxed, you're too, uh, you, you don't have that focus to help you, you know, um, put your mind um, on what you're trying to work on. And so the combination of alpha pinin and limonin makes this uh, frankincense essential oil a very good nootropic or study aid well, when you're trying to study. I do notice it does make me, uh, helps me calm down and, uh, you know, uh, for example, if uh, when I'm talking, if I use this essential oil, I do notice that my, uh, I talk a lot more softer, that I'm a lot more relaxed, but uh, I'm able, able to formulate thoughts um, a lot more easily, I do believe. Uh, frankincense Boswellia Cartier I really like to use as a nootropic and I like to actually use kind of like a perfume too. Like if I uh, apply 10 drops um, on my skin. Actually I can uh, t talk to you about how I use this frankincense Boswellia Cartier essential oil. Usually people would say to use it for aromatherapy like essential oils in general you can use it topically and aromatherapy uh, and aromatherapy. These are the two main uses for essential oils. I've noticed that uh, this essential oil doesn't do too well for aromatherapy. The scent, although it's fairly strong, uh, if you put in like a water diffuser that uses ultra ultrasound to diffuse the water vapor and the essential oil together, the scent becomes too faint. This, uh, this is in between being too faint and uh, being too strong. If it's like a very strong scented essential oil like uh, cinnamon, then a few drops of cinnamon essential oil uh, in your diffuser would uh, light up the room with that scent quite nicely. 
Whereas this frank, uh, whereas this essential oil, instead of a few drops, you'd need a quite a bit more. And because this is quite expensive, it, this uh, 30 milliliters of Bolzulia Cartary essential oil cost me about a little more than 30 bucks. So, um, so what I'm trying to say is that I would recommend if you want to use it, to use it uh, topically. And there is the issue of, uh, you know, some people being sensitive uh, to essential oils so you may want to just try with one drop and see if you, if you have any uh, reaction to it if your body doesn't like it uh, honestly this um, you, you know the obvious advice and the advice I would give you is to uh, di you know use this in a dilution it says um, over here for kids the maximum a topical dilution of 1% for example if you have uh, 100 drops of olive oil you or maybe 99 drops of olive, olive oil you'd add one drop of this essential oil. I personally don't do that. I won't recommend you to do that since uh, usually essential oils are very concentrated. But what I usually do is just uh, straight up use the, um, you know, the pure essential oil on my skin and uh, topically apply it, whether uh, a couple of drops to my chest or, in my, um, or to my back, depending if I'm using it as a perfume or not. If you want to have um, what I do for a maximum uh, absorp absorption of the alpha penin in order to improve my cognition is to um, is to actually you know spread the essential oil um, on the skin or what I usually do is um, add a couple of drops if I want that scent to stay for a while because you know for example if you spread out water you would notice it evaporates a lot more because it has more surface area to the air versus, um, you know, all that water in a cup, it ev evaporates slower since it would have less uh, surface area to the air. Anyway, the point is uh, you can use this for topical application with dilution. And uh, finally, uh, that's uh, all that I wanted to talk about. I do find this to be a good therapeutic uh, essential oil. And I've actually uh, purchased another one called, uh, this is also a Balzoilia cartridge. It's the now brand of essential oils, but the problem is, first of all, it's very dilute. And um, I say dilute, what I mean is the scent is very, uh, very weak. I try to smell, I can barely smell anything. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I bought it on Amazon and someone could have, uh, you know, diluted the oil before selling it. I don't think so because the seal wasn't broken. But if I apply a couple of these drops to my skin, I can barely... I'm not, I can't really uh, smell much of the essential oil from the uh, now brand and I don't fi I find the same cognitive enhancing effect. So indeed the brand does matter when you're looking for an essential oil to use. And so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. You can ask me uh, or, you know, whatever question you have on this particular, on either of these two particular essential oils, particularly this one. And um, yeah, yeah, I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, bye.